Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Walker at Somers Animal Hospital, and today we're going to demonstrate basic passive range of motion on Tucker's hind limb. We might be doing this for arthritis, an injury, or very commonly after knee surgery. A few basic things we want to keep in mind. We want to get the patient laying comfortably on his side. If you're alone on the floor, it often works well to sit behind him and drape one leg over him and then work on this leg. But we want it to be a good experience for the patient. If there's any sign of distress or pain, that means we're doing too much and we need to back off. So when we're going to start, we're going to keep Tucker's leg in a nice flat plane. We don't want to pull it up when we start working with him or have it pointing down. So nice and flat and I'm going to keep one hand under his knee to support him. When we start, we always start at the bottom of the foot. It never hurts to start with just a little bit of massage to kind of increase our circulation for a few minutes before beginning. Then we start down low supporting the leg and we bring this little ankle forward and then out to a full range of motion. We just gently bring it back and forth. This joint doesn't move as much as the higher joints. You notice that we're not pulling on the leg, we're supporting it and just gently bringing that ankle forward and back. We then move up to the dog's knee. It's okay to still be moving this joint. And again, supporting it, we bring the knee in. And now we've taken a nice full range of motion in that knee. And then we bring it out. And I'm more gently pushing at the knee again, not pulling the leg out. So we bring it in. He's got excellent range of motion. So we bring it all the way out. Initially, you might just do it five or 10 times. And as things improve, you can get up to 20, 25 repetitions. Now we've done the little ankle, the knee, and now we move up to the hip. For the hip, we're bringing all the joints in to flex. And then we're going to stretch out again, more pushing the leg gently back, stretching the hip again, not pulling the leg out. And then we can bring the whole leg forward. Again, bring the hip joint forward and then the whole hip joint back. For some of these dogs that have been limping a lot and keeping one limb up, they'll tend to strain their iliopsoas muscle, which runs from the lower back into the groin. You can always incorporate that in a stretch by going back and rotating the limb gently inward. And that gives a very nice stretch here throughout. You can even massage up in through the back. And most of the dogs relax and uh, really tend to enjoy it. If it is a knee injury, we can always do a little ice compress or something after the rehabilitation session. Thank you.